WikiLeaks is causing waves in Washington and around the world again. The whistleblowing website released another pile of government documents Sunday, including confidential State Department messages that shed light on the work of American diplomats. The documents revealed new information about Iran's nuclear program, Pakistan's atomic weapons, and assessments of several foreign leaders. Joining us now with more is up to the minutes UN correspondent Frank Uciardo. Frank, thanks for being with us. Thank you. First of all, let's talk in big picture um, and give us an idea of what kind of impact will this have? I mean, has, has this put diplomats at risk? It puts diplomats at risk. It puts intelligence operatives at risk. And basically, for years, you know, it's been this very quiet gentleman's agreement that, yes, diplomats and spies work hand in hand. A lot of the information that goes into negotiations comes from intelligence resources. And that, that, you know, that comes from spies, basically, is what we're talking about here. And they do operate at the U.N. It's, it's not a big surprise to the diplomatic community. But when this gets out, it makes everybody's life very difficult. You can't get sources. They close up. It puts people in the field in danger, field agents in danger. So, and, 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 of course, many diplomats, you know, they're under high security to start with. So, No doubt. Well, what have we learned about these diplomats uh, because of these documents? Well, well, basically, we, we, ha we have a situation where uh, at one point uh, they asked, uh, there was a memo that, that, that asked U.S. officials at the mission here at the United Nations to spy on Ban Ki-moon and his administration. Mm -hmm. And th that seems surprising because Ban Ki-moon is a pretty transparent figure. Uh, but on the surface, there is historic, uh, there's kind of a history to this. Uh, back in the run-up to the Iraq War, uh, British intelligence agents actually bugged uh, Kofi Annan, Secretary General Kofi Annan's office, and uh, that information was used in, in negotiations going into the Iraq War, and that was confirmed by Claire Short, who was part of the Tony Blair cabinet, and then she resigned after that. So there is historic precedent for this, but when it gets out in the open, it, 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 everybody's embarrassed, and it makes it that much tougher for them to do their job. So it's essentially the dirty job that goes on as being a diplomat, but now that everyone knows about it, it's, it's you know, not the best of light being shed on the U.S. What kind of impact will this have on foreign relations? Because this is a very sensitive time. Yeah, it, it is a sensitive time because the U.S. is involved in trying to get consensus on issues like Iran and North Korea. And when you're trying to get agreement on issues like that. Uh, it takes a lot of trust. And of course, the Obama administration, Obama himself, uh, and I was talking about this with several officials at the UN today, Obama himself uh, coming in the door was seen by a, a lot of people, in, especially in the European diplomatic community, as being weak on foreign affairs. So this does not instill confidence in the people that he has to negotiate with down, down the road. It makes it even that more difficult. Although, although damage control is, has been underway for more than a week. Uh, U.S. officials knew this was coming. Uh, they've been engaged on the phone. And uh, with regard to the U.N., uh, the, the U.N. released a statement late, late Sunday uh, to reporters saying that we can't even comment on the authenticity of the WikiLeaks documents as, as far as, you know, spying on us. They won't even touch it. It gets really specific uh, when it comes to North Korea, when it comes to Iran. Uh, give us some information as to what kind of impact, what kind of effect that will have. Well, you know, the, 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 one of the things that, that was leaked is they're, they're talking about uh, the Saudi Arabian uh, king and apparently what he, that he wanted the U.S. to take action against Iran. Well, uh, you know, covertly that's, that's fine to talk about, but that getting out in the Arab world is a very dangerous thing. And, of course, that was one of the things that was leaked. And that's, that could backfire and result in terrorist attacks in Saudi Arabia, and there have been terrorist attacks there. In fact, earlier this year, Saudi Arabian agents foiled a terror plot to blow up oil facilities there. So this, this, could, this, could, this has wide ramifications, not just for the U.S., but for U.S. allies in the Middle East and around the world. Also talks about uh, the nuclear capabilities in Iran and, and some of the details as to what the U.S. thinks should be done about that. There's a lot of information in these documents. Thanks for helping break that down for us. We do appreciate it, Frank. You're welcome.